My name is Daryl Sage and I'm the Director of Strategy and Planning. I'm here tonight at Brookview School to bring staff's recommendations that are going forward to, uh, to the board. Tonight we shared with the community that none of the schools will be closed and that we will be taking that recommendation forward. I believe that the, uh, the community was well receiving of that uh, information. There was a lot of good uh, information that has come from the community and I think what's the most important message is, is that the, uh, during the whole ARC process, the community made uh, a lot of statements of which staff have uh, recognized and we are coming back in support of uh, what the community has uh, stated all along. So we appreciate the effort from the community. Hello, my name is Frans Bronkhorst. I was a member of this ARC, uh, a parent of Gosford uh, kids. And uh, what I have heard here tonight it really pleases me because the board has recognized that the uh, demands of the parents were legitimate and uh, have come to um, consider that the sh schools should stay open and if possible if there is money uh, be improved for the programs that are being given. Yeah, uh, my name is Rasai Shaka. I am an educator. I, uh I work in this community in Brookview Middle School as a teacher. Uh, this year I'm teaching grade 8, uh, language and math, as well as media studies and drama. Um, I've been attending the previous ARC meetings uh, about uh, school closures in this community. And um, I have had my share, you know, of, I've, I've had words to say about what I think about uh, closing the schools. Um, uh, unfortunately, the options that were given did not allow for any other uh, debate about what other actions that the board could have taken. And I believe that there was always some kind of omission, uh, omission of um, you know what was actually happening to the com you know uh, with the community. Uh, for example, tonight we we heard that. Uh, the, the, the subway that is coming into Jane and Finch came into the picture now and that sort of changes things you know and uh, if people knew about that before I'm pretty sure their debate might have been a lot different. Um, my thinking is that the board has decided to uh, go with the status quo in other words no school closures um, but to leave it at that is sad because you're going to have a subway um, which means uh, a lot of people are going to need access. Um, this community might indeed have an influx of people moving in to live beside the subway. There might be more buildings going up at York University, more homes, um, uh, because of this subway line. And we have some tracts of land, available land, that uh, developers might be eyeing in on in the community. So. A better plan, in my view, would have been to take maybe two schools that are close together, like Brookview and Shoham, and turn these into a green space academy. An academy that would not only bring, not, not only be there for people in Jane, students in Jane and Finch, but could uh, at least attract other students from outside the community, which would somehow help to change the face that Jane and Finch has in the public's eye. Um, this would also help to, to deal with the issue of uh, declining enrollment that was perceived by the board, um, which is the reason for the ARC in the first place. Um, I love this community and I think that the government, the ministry, um, everyone needs to, need to get together to, to show the children in this community that they care because many of them feel that nobody does and we need to do this for them we need to build a better Jane and Finch and that is my that's just my view hi I'm Kay I'm from this community and uh, concerning tonight's meeting it's very interesting to see um, what suggestion uh, is going to be taken seriously and how that is going to be worked out uh, financially thanks bye Hi, my name is Nasib Hussein, and uh, I'm just a concerned resident here in, in the Jane and Finch corridor. And uh, after the, the meeting, I'm quite thankful that our schools are going to be saved and all the programs and, and um, residents here will still have the same service that they had before. 
my concern here is that there will be no more f additional funding or there is no information about additional funding going to be provided so we're going to be stuck in the same situation that we were two years ago uh, in, the, in today and where will this money come from and will any surplus money from the sale of any of the lands actually benefit our community? Only time will tell but you know, we, we have to wait, wait it out and hopefully we can work with the TDSP to get some, um, something beneficial to our community and uh, hopefully we can get that soon. Thanks. Why did the community, why did, you, why did the board put the community through an art process that ended up in actually no change? I mean, could you not have predicted that in the first place and just said, okay, let's skip over the Jane Finch area? It seems like, uh, I mean, this was a cathartic process. We almost came to blows in this room. You know, we didn't. I mean, we, we were quite vocal in, in our opposition to it. For the community, it was cathartic. It was hard, hard for the staff, certainly hard for the director. I mean, it seems like we went through all of this for nothing. I'm glad it ended up status quo, oh, but I mean, it still seems like somebody just wanted to see it, uh, the whole community act of it. Let me, let me respond to that. I know that uh, there's a question there somewhere. And the question and is, so why are we going to? In terms of the process, you can see how staff recommending or not recommending but projecting that uh, this area will probably experience a decline in enrollment in terms of the boundaries that it currently has and as a result there will be about 500 empty seats. That provided an opportunity for the community to review that and, and see what kind of options were available. Options would be to consolidate and if there was a consolidation there's the possibility of reinvestment back into uh, strengthening the programs. So, the community went through the process. I think it was a, uh, a very healthy process to go through. Uh, the information hasn't changed, and yet the information could still change in the future. But it was a healthy exercise, and I think one of the key things that we want to reinforce is that there are those folks that may think that going into an ARC, that there is a preconceived um, solution. There is an option that is put on the table, but this is good evidence that the options that were put on the table, any options that were related to closure, the community spoke very uh, loudly and clearly about that, and as a result, the uh, representing the community reported back and said, we would like status quo. 